which essentially tells you the, the flow of foreign capital into India. As, as we know, India has really become more and more integrated with the global markets and global flows, which is again dictated by the global interest rates, have a significant impact on the Indian markets. As you can see, each 10 billion has really added quite a lot to the BSE census over the last uh, uh, few years. The possible scenario over the next 3 to 5 years, this is the framework which we look at. If you notice the last 3 years, the average real GDP growth has been around 8%. Our view is that over, over the next 3 to 5 years, this, this average could be more or less around 6 to 6.5, essentially because we still don't see the government spending a lot of money on infrastructure in India. And that would be a huge bottleneck for the real GDP growth. And that's the reason we assume that it will be around 6 to 6.5, which actually is not bad. From a global perspective, this 6 to 6.5 is a very good rate at which GDP can grow. So when we do our macro framework for individual stocks, we look at 6 to 6.5 and not 8 as the real GDP growth. The 10-year yield could move to around 9 to 9.5. It is currently just around, I think, uh, less than 8. But our, our gut feeling is and our, our analysis tells us that it will be around 9 to 9.5. Inflation should inch to around 5.5 to 6. And foreign exchange, we still continue to believe, as, as Ajit gave the rationale in the morning, that it will depreciate by 3% over the next few years.